Good morning, welcome to Scotty Crafts and Wendy's World. Today we have the brand new Christmas Couture Creations embossing folders. And boy, are they just yummy. I haven't seen embossing folders that really have made me excited for ages, and these really do. So they've bought, bought out a quite good range of them. There's a beautiful Christmas tree one. It's going to that's go a bit closer. It's really hard to see the detail. There you go. That's early great. Early one morning. I'll pick it up and maybe tilt it a bit as well, Adrian, to, yeah. to show. It's a really pretty Christmas tree with a border it around it. It is lovely. It's little as well. It doesn't fill the whole card, which I think is really nice. So I've taken it, embossed it, and then just cut away the background, then taken book transparency and embossed the word one, which is called Joyful Wishes, onto the book transparency and just laid it in behind. The beauty of this one is it's got that nice little frame, so you've got something to cut to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've left the tree attached at the bottom because the design joins in. Quick and easy Christmas it is. card. And there's the one with the words That's on, the which words is one. great. So Adrian's just done this and then inked over it with Distress Inks. The beauty of this one is it's all in like ribbon borders, so you can trim yes. it out. And I've used it throughout some of my cards as well, which is good. I love to combine the folders. You know, you look at them a little bit differently rather than just our background. Yeah, and it gives you so many more options. So this is the Holly one, which I'm going to show later on in a technique. But here I've done the emboss side and inked over with Distress Inks. This is the Boss side, so the leaves are indented. Wow, it gives quite a different, hugely different effect. look. Yeah, yeah. And once again, as I said, I like to combine the folders. So this little banner that's on the bottom of this cute little reindeer one, I've used it and cut around it and applied it just for my sentiment on another card. I really like that. So cross them over and mix and match. Once again, here's the really cool little joy for Christmas. This has got all the Christmas trees and parcels. I've used the holographic card that we sell here at Scotty's, and here's one of those words again, the or the border one which is from joyful wishes yeah it looks great it's really reflecting on the camera it looks like really cool i love this one as well uh, in actual fact it reminded me of a whiskey label oh yeah it does hot toddies at christmas is oh. that what they made of <laughs> not sure brandy maybe <laughs> Really love that one. You could do all sorts of things with that one. Um, the Cardinals, which is uh, quite a popular bird for Christmas. Yeah, so, I quite like that one. That's one of my favourites, I think. And then the detail in the songbird and poinsettia. This is lovely for an all-over background one. Yeah, it is. And then... then down here we have a, a sugar plum ball. Now, I love this background. It's a mixture of holly and berries and, and Christmas greenery. Yeah. I've used it with um, clear embossing. So emboss your design, brayer, versamark or embossing ink over the top, yes. clear embossing powder, heat it and then ink over the top and you'll get that effect. And then Adrian, I think you've just used the Distress Inks yeah, for this one. Yeah, I have, yeah. Then this one here I've used Distress Paints. This is Peaceful Ornaments, I love this one. And I've just used a Spellbinder Circle to punch out the baubles to put them on the top of it and layer them up once again. There's uh, Peace and Joy and Hope, although I think that's on that folder. Yeah, I think it is on the folder. It is, it's at the bottom. Yeah, so that's, so that's really, really cool. cool. And one all by itself. And then, so these, oh wow, I love that's that. That's a combination of all the folders. So I've taken little bits of them and embossed it, and that's the technique that I'm going to show you. I think you can see the impressed border around the outside. Yeah. So what I've done is I've taken one of my basic Spellbinder shapes, in this case the hexagon one. <coughs> I've cut it out of my piece of cardstock, so the holographic card, yes. left it in the die. Take your cuddle bug with the embossed sandwich, take your folder, and you can decide whether you want it embossed or debossed, so long as it isn't printing. Okay. If it's writing and you do the deboss side, it's going to be reversed. Okay. So I'm looking for the indent of the leaves, so they're, drop, they're, they're indented down, down into it. Okay. I'm going to place my piece with my blades. These are my blades there, facing up. Yes. The right side of the card down on the folder. On my cuddle bug, I've got my A board, my shim, and my B board. I lay that on the top. The next step, just as normal embossing, I'd lay my tan mat over the top, and then another B board, and then roll it through. That's a really clever little technique. And what that does is it only will emboss the little. It'll only emboss and leave wow. the background blank. So that's stunning. I really, really like that. And you could do that with any of your little shapes. Any of the basic shapes. So circles, squares, ovals, etc. Even some with the decorative borders on them, you could still do the same you type could. of thing. And then you get this beautiful card that you can put together with all different little bits of embossing. I love that. I think that's absolutely stunning. 
And this is the start of more of the clear embossed backgrounds where I've only just started to kind of ink. This one I've inked over in two colours. This one I've just um, inked over in a couple of colours as well. And see how all the leaves, because they're clear embossed, they've resisted and they pop out. Oh, that's great. It's a lovely technique to just try different things with these folders. But I must say I'm really impressed with these folders. I'm really impressed with the lovely cards that you've created as well. So I'll just have a quick look at all of those again. So you can see... Don't forget that one, that's really cool. Oh, this is another one of the words where I've used it, like a little banner as well. That's from the same word one. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. So you can tri trim them out and cut them like a ribbon. So that's from that folder there. That's from there. this folder here. So I've used that one a lot throughout the cards, actually, because you can trim it into little lines and combine so it So there with... are eight different folders available for you to have a look at. And remember to look at the video um, if you want to know what you can do with those folders and we'll see you again soon. See Have fun. fun. Bye. Bye.